Welcome back. Okay, so uh, you've used your life pulse. We've juxtaposed where you're gonna be physically versus where you physically are now. You probably shed a couple of tears. That's okay. Um, I know I did when I do this stuff. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start connecting the dots, all right? And I've got a little visual aid for you. Um, since we're, we're talking about fitness goals, I'm here at a fitness gym. Um, I got a fitness visual, visual aid. So let's say this this is your goal. This is your great big goal. It's huge. It covers your whole face. This is life changing. Okay. This is your life changing goal. We're going to hit one of these in maybe a year. Okay. We might hit one of these every two years. Who knows? Okay. It depends on your goal, but this is your great big goal. We've got other types of goals along this process. And the first one of them is here. Okay. These are smaller goals. These are a lot more attainable. We're going to hit goals like this once every month to two months. Might, e might even be three months. Okay. And after these, almost hit myself, are going to be these. Okay. Little bitty goals. These are really attainable goals. One to two week goals. Why do I talk about this? Because as we build up into your giant goal, the big plate, you're gonna need a lot of little stepping stones along the way to keep your morale up. One of the reasons why people ditch so much on fitness resolutions is because they set goals that are too great, big, and crazy, and they don't put in a bunch of little stepping stones along the way. Now, I'm gonna give you an example of this that works in the powerlifting world. It's gonna be your responsibility and the exercise of this video to figure out how this applies to your fitness goal. So we're gonna expect a lot of leg work on your part, but are you really expecting anything else, okay? This is your fitness goal. This is your life pulse. This is your fitness track. I can't do these workouts for you. So. Do some research, find an athlete that you really look up to, hop on their social media, see what they're doing. And then of course, if you need more help creating these goals, we can always hop onto a you and me getting some stuff done. But, okay, um, taking a powerlifting goal, uh, a base strength, you wanna be considered strong-ish in the powerlifting world before you start going elite. We're gonna talk about a 500 pound deadlift, a 400 pound back squat, and a 300 pound bench press, okay? Those are just some numbers, and they are emotionless, okay? The numbers, the numbers, the number. Weight weighs the same amount whether or not you like the weight or hate the weight. Um, it turns out my algebra teacher in high school was right. It really doesn't matter if I like the numbers or not. Um, but if that's your goal, and we've adequately assessed that your current standing in terms of weightlifting is you've got a 200 pound back squat or a 200 pound deadlift, a 150 pound back squat, and a 100 pound bench press. Now we've got a really simple math problem. All we have to do is get you from here to here. Yeah, easy, coach. Um, easy for me to say, right? Well, it's really not that complicated. If you add one pound a week, to each of these lifts. That's 52 pounds in a year, that's 100 pounds every two. Sure, one pound is not very much, but it's still progress. And if we safely can get you from where you are to where you wanna be without you getting hurt, that's a big win for us. So, the exercise for today is figure out what your medium and small size goals are. We need to be able to hit these one every two weeks, three weeks, one every month, two months, maybe even three months if you're really shooting for the moon, okay? This one is probably gonna take you a little bit longer to do than the last exercise, but that's okay. When you finished it, come on back and finish essential exercise series number two. Have fun.